For many communities living along the sea line, fishing has been a way of life for centuries. But in recent years, illegal fishing has decimated stocks in the area, forcing many to travel further out to sea to catch enough to make a living and threatening to destroy their way of life altogether if something is not done to contain the problem. According to West African authorities, up to 1.5 billion US dollars worth of fish are taken by ships fishing illegally each year in West Africa, threatening one of the world's best fisheries and slashing revenues to catch trapped nations whose efforts to counter the plunder have been hindered by lack of resources and flagrant graft. The problem risks deepening instability in some of the world's most fragile states by driving communities that earn a living from the sea towards crime. According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, illegal fishing in West Africa is out of control and in danger of posing a serious threat to the food security of communities living along the coast. In Ivory Coast, Fisheries Minister Loben Kwasi Ajumani says illegal fishing in his country is made worse by lack of monitoring from the authorities. Unfortunately, when the pirate fishermen come into our waters, they disregard our laws. They fish even though they don't have proper licenses. Illegal fishing in West Africa is part of a global problem straining world stocks. The United States and the European Union estimate illegal fishing yields as much as 23 billion US dollars worth of seafood worldwide annually. But the ocean of West Africa marks a special case. It has the world's highest proportion of illegal catch at about 37%, according to researchers who point to its rich stocks and weak local law enforcement. A study by the UK-based Environmental Justice Foundation showed that many of the culprits are Chinese, Korean and European-run ships which typically catch fish in off-limits waters and launder their catches by offloading it onto refrigerated vessels called reefers at sea. Usually these are boats from Asia, more specifically Korea and China. A lack of patrol boats or money to buy fuel for them has crippled West African governments trying to crack down on encroaching fleets, leaving artisanal fishers with dwindling stocks and nets damaged by passing trawlers. The damage is quite substantial. Millions of dollars are lost every year because of illegal fishing. They destroy the seabed and often fish using instruments that are not meant to be used for fishing. In Ivory Coast, authorities have seized only four illegal fishing vessels since 2007, even as local fishermen claim run-ins with ships are a near daily occurrence. Local fishermen who have seen their livelihoods slip into decline say they are facing tougher times. Five years ago, I used to take home between 295 US dollars or 394 US dollars a day. But today, for example, I had to pay for fuel, which cost me 49 US dollars. And I only made 59 US dollars, which means I am losing out. Before, we only needed four or five fishing nets and some fishing hooks. But today, we need more than 12 or 15 fishing nets, and we are now forced to use motorboats to go further to find fish. The West African state, which is struggling to recover from a post-election civil war in 2011, is losing some 50,000 tons of fish to illegal fishing every year, according to the Fisheries Ministry. The country is in talks with a French aerospace firm, Thales, on using satellite technology to monitor its waters and is also seeking more high-speed boats to intercept vessels caught in the act. Senegal, Guinea-Bissau and Guinea, meanwhile, share resources including a monitoring center in Gambia and a small prop plane for overflights packed at Dakar's airport, which rarely leaves the ground due to the cost of running it.